But tell me, what's the state of swimming in Israel? Tell me, what's the update on Israel, Israeli swimming? It's hard because it got much better since David Marsh joined the program. Like, he's our consultant. He's been with us for five years now. Wow. Yeah, it's gotten much better. But he he, encour he encourages a lot of swimmers to, to go to the U.S., to the collegiate system, which is good, I think. But we don't produce a lot of uh, or enough swimmers at home. Yeah. So everyone, they, when they turn 18, you go to the army in Israel. So when you turn 20 or 21, you go to the U.S. Basically, no one stays in Israel. Yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough. You got your back against the wall with the army. The women have to do two years and the men three. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. And then by the time they get out, they're a little bit more developed and they think, I want to go and study abroad now. Yeah. And sometimes it's not related to swimming at all. Like they just want to get a scholarship and study Yeah, and swim for fun, basically. Now, if they wanted to stay in Israel, what are their options? With swimming and school? None. None? Wow. None. Nothing. No, no school will support swimming in Israel? No. Like school is a full-time job in Israel. Now, if they don't want to, if they want to be a swimmer full-time, then they just have to dedicate their life to swimming then? Yeah, basically. Yeah. And they don't get paid enough. To do. Is so there any very, funding? Yeah, but very little. Like the best swimmer in Israel gets around $2,500 a month from the Federation or from the Olympic Committee. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It makes it tough, eh? Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah.